Hi, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Jen and I share cleaning, organizing, and DIY projects each week. In today's video, I am finishing up my daughter's room makeover and I created some wall mirrors. Um, so they're all anthropology inspired. We're going for a minimalist boho kind of feel for her bedroom but there's a little bit of a twist in there. Anyway, um, these mirrors were really, really simple. I had most of the items on hand. Um, I just needed to order some peel and stick uh, mirrors for this project. So there are four mirrors total, but unfortunately I only was able to capture uh, three, but I, you'll see the fourth one. It's super duper simple. You don't even need a tutorial for it, but and um, there's a bamboo one, a macrame one, and I did had a lot of those small mirrors left, the peel and stick, so I didn't want them to go to waste, so I created this uh, long row of mirrors, which is kind of cute. It ended up turning out a lot cuter than I thought it would. Um, and then just a small mirror with some wooden beads. Everything was really simple and if you're a crafter, you probably have most of that stuff on hand. So I hope you enjoy. I started by wrapping two embroidery hoops with some of the raffia paper. I didn't catch that on camera. I'm really sorry. So right now these are bamboo sticks cut down to about two and a half, three inches in length. And I'm just hot gluing them on each side of the um, embroidery hoop. Now that all of the bamboo, bamboo skewers or sticks, stakes um, are hot glued, now I am attaching a peel and stick mirror um, right on top. Just a little bit of hot glue, place it in place and add a, this is a two or three millimeter macrame cord that I'm just creating a loop. I'm gonna hot glue that onto the embroidery hoop and you've got yourself a um, wall hanging mirror. Mm -hmm. 
Now I'm going to create a macrame style uh, mirror wrapped. So this is a metal craft hoop, um, same size as the mirror. This is another peel and stick mirror. I just bought a um, big batch of them just for all of these projects. So I'm doing the, I think it's called the Lark's Head Knot or Lark's, Lark's Loop Knot. I don't remember the, the name of it, but I'm just doing that all of the way around. I cut my cord down to about six inches, but I'll cut that down further. So it just took a, um, a few minutes to get all of these looped onto the, um, the metal hoop. Um, and then I attached the mirror and um, afraid the cord, but I will talk you through that part. Okay, so this part I did a little wonky and I shouldn't have done it this way, um, but I would recommend not doing it the opposite of me, but I'm just um, applying some hot glue to the mirror and then I'm going to attach the hoop. But as you can see, um, I'm putting the hoop over the mirror and I should put the mirror over the hoop. So that uh, ran, I ran into some problems with cord getting in the way, but all was good because I was able to get that um, hot glue off the cord but just you know for your reference don't do it my way um I also did add a little bit of hot glue in place of some of the uh, macrame cord just to keep things in place Now I'm unraveling the cord. This did take a while. If you have a pet brush, um, do that, use that. Sorry, I thought there was gonna be more footage of that, but I did, um, you'll see at the end that I um, unraveled and then cut it down a little bit. Now I'm making a layer of the row of mirrors. These are all the small mirrors that I had left over in that pack. Um, so I'm measuring down three inches and I'm putting um, one of the small mirrors. I'm going to be putting one on the front and one at the back. They are going to um, sink in place because they're peel and stick and they're going to be, as you can see, I'm sticking it to the macrame cord. After that, I'm going to be, um, oh yeah, so I'm um, placing that in the middle and then going to put the other one on the other side. And now I'm going to, I measured it out and cut off the cord and I'm going to be doing um, 10 small wooden beads um, in between each mirror, as you see. Um, I did add a little bit of scotch tape at the bottom so I can easily thread the um, beads onto the macrame cord. So I went two of the smallest, then one a little bit larger, a little bit larger, then the largest small mirror, and then I went um, backwards. So it just, um, it, it got big and then it got small again. I hope that makes sense.
thank you so much for watching. Um, I really hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Um, leave a comment down below on which one you like the best and if you're going to even try them. So thanks so much for watching and I will see you next time.